All right, see me. Let me look for you. See me. What's your name in the um? What's your name in the um participants, buddy? Is it si is Simone? I don't see just a regular see me. Yep. Okay. Cool. Just clarifying. Clarification. See me. You should be good to go. You hear, buddy? Hello. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, man, Tosh, you right? Dude, dude, I'm good. How are you, man? I want to, I, I know I'm you've been good. asking to come on, man, and talk about your journey. Yeah. Dude, I want to come on just to say to the new people, I want to thank MIC because you guys are the real shit. Like, <laughs> I've been through, no, 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 people don't understand. There's so many scams out there. Like, I've, oh, I've been training for six years now. I mean, trading, nice. investing, uh, and um, <clears throat> man, the blown up accounts, the fool rules. The fool rules. It's, it's, it's insane, man. It's ridiculous. And I, I'm just thankful for, for you guys, for, for, for you, Tosh, and Bao, and Alex, and all the mods. But like, for someone to actually make a, 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 a business, a community this good on trading, where 99% of people are scammers, it's, it's, it really, I mean, I was about to give up, man. I'm like, listen, I've lost like $10,000 in six years. You know, I've blown up like five accounts. I'm done. You know, you know, this is not for me. And then, um, I, I, I came here into MIC and I'm like, hold on a second. This is actually different. It's actually real. <laughs> it's actually, people respond to my DMs. Wow. Bro, that's like, <laughs> bro that is, literally everything you just said, man, is the exact reason why we created this community, bro, is I cannot tell you, Simone, in the first couple of years, bro, let me fucking tell you, man. I yeah. was a normal trader like you, bro. I, I, I wasn't friends with Bound Alex yet. I was two years into my journey. I'm going on eight years, actually probably eight and a half by now. But dude, in the first two years, man, I was just not getting it right. And I, dude, I studied it like, and, and obviously there were no communities like MIC back then. So yeah. dude, it was trial and error. And, and like, I blew up one account, but I was really conservative in the beginning. And I was, I was just terrified, bro, because I'd make $2,000 Mm -hmm. in, in like a week and give it right back and make four grand and give it right back. And, and dude, I didn't know why. And like the only thing that kept me going was because eventually while I always kind of figured it out by myself a little bit, dude, I found Bound Alex and they took me in and they were like, okay, motherfucker, this is how you trade. And then fast forward, yeah. man, I realized what they had in, in their minds. And I said, if you can teach me guys, you can teach a thousand people, man, you can change lives. And this is what we did, man. So yeah. I, love I love you for saying that. Man. The thing is like, people don't understand how lucky we are to have Bao, you and Tosh, uh, you and Alex, millionaire traders, people that don't need to do this. Like people don't have to answer my DM on uh, why is this, why is like, and a uh, second point that I want to say is to, to, to the new guys, please, please don't write like stuff like, oh, what HDMI cable to bow and all that. Like, Come on, guys. <laughs> yeah. This is, no, 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 no. I, this, you don't understand how lucky you are to have these people. I wrote a question to Alex. It took me four fucking days to formulate it. Because I wasn't sure, because <laughs> because I, I was like, man, I'm, I, I don't want to, I'm wasting his time or something. You know, this, this guy has, you know, a full schedule, plus he's trading and commentating on on the trades for us. I mean, leave them alone unless it's properly important. Well, you know what you it know? is, Simone? You know what it is, man? And I really appreciate you for bringing that up, bro, is because people don't realize that, that yes, while well, I, I would more so group Bao and Alex, because they're more, well, especially just Bao, because he's the legend yeah. of 20 years, right? That taught yeah. Alex, you know, Alex indirectly taught me. And now I help you guys. Like, it's just such a cascading waterfall of knowledge, but it did originate with Bao and people really don't know how lucky they are to have modern yes. Bao. And the thing is, man, it's like, this would have never worked with people who aren't passionate about this game. Do we eat, sleep and breathe this shit, right? Like that's yeah. the only reason why it works, man, is because yeah. I, like, dude, it's, it's actually one of the main reasons why I, dude, I don't even participate in main chat in the mornings now because I'm doing business shit mm -hmm. while I'm trading yeah. in the background. Like, dude, we're trying to make this so unbelievably better for you bigger and there's you know when you have the passion that's one but man sometimes there's just so many hours in the day or energy as like you said you know when you're helming questions like what hdmi <laughs> but Dude. yes yeah
So the point but, is, man, yeah, thank the, you so the, much. The crazy that. part is that Bao, like what blows my mind is he comes on these new member webinars when he's the founder alongside you and Alex. I mean, no, no, 20 years, like a legendary hell? trader, right? Yeah. Like, what is he doing here? Like, you know, it's crazy. That's so good that he's on and he's active. Like, he, you know, the, uh, it's crazy. I mean, honestly, like, I just want everyone to know that, do, you know, do not take this for granted because I, I, I don't know of any place like this online or any, all, there's like scams everywhere anyways, but of a community this good and with access to millionaire traders on a daily basis, that's unheard of. So, well, Simone, you know, the, the sad part is, man, is we live in a world where, bro, you, you, you can go to any website and there's a scam, right? Not just the yeah. trading industry, for God's sake. And, and just mm -hmm. a general rule of thumb is 90% of people in finance, even on Wall Street, are scammers, right? Because money attracts greasy salesmen, like greasy fuckers, mm -hmm. dude, like used car salesmen. And it's like, dude, did you hear the story? <laughs> I said, like, last week is like someone hijacked my Netflix and scammed me out of my own account. He was like some oh, yeah. guy from India. I saw the location. His name was like Putamanjaba. And I'm like, dude, you can't <laughs> open your phone these days without like scam. <laughs> like, you got Bro, the day, the day that at the MIC Instagram account was shut, like, that was insane. Like, Bro, they like, shut the, yeah. that's crazy. Let me, let me tell you something, man. Every single day, um, whether they're competitors or just scam artists in general, are trying to shut us down in some way or another because we're making a difference, because people are yeah. actually liking the community and the content. And they have for four years. And, and you know, we have such big plans for the future, man. And, and it, 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 it truly is people like you, man, that come on and say these things <laughs> that make us want to continue bigger and better. And, I mean, dude, I mean, you've seen my Instagram, right? Like, I had to, for the yeah. first time ever in – what it, t probably 10 years of my personal Instagram, T Bradley 90 underscore one underscore trader, dude, I, I have so many scammers. I had to make it private. Like, <laughs> like, I don't want people scamming other people like DM a crypto and I'll give you Dogecoin and you know, it, it, and then they send people money. I'm like, dude, that's my face. I don't want it. I don't want somebody to get scammed because someone impersonated me. Like what the fuck? And, and you know, what's crazy about me? Like I'm still paper trading right now and like trying to see what to do with uh, you know we're going long or, or short yeah. but i know i'm in the right place and i'm already psyched that i'm gonna make cash even though i didn't make any yet you, no, you, don't, <laughs> like, well, you know why you know why you are simone is because like you said man you are doing what every trader no matter how long they've been trading whether it's six years or six months bro it doesn't matter you are sucking up your ego and saying i'm eventually going to get it but i need to learn the right yes. material now i Absolutely. need to learn the process i need to learn the process yeah that, that's that, exactly it yeah dude awesome. But, uh, awesome. thank you awesome. tosh bro and uh hopefully i'm in the uk now but hopefully you know for this COVID, we can do a proper meet up with everyone that would be great bro let me tell you something man i i, I know you're probably not going to make it out to la dude but I, I i've never been in the uk bro and i've got this, oh you like, have to come bro i've got this longing desire mind for the last 31 years to go there i i promise you one day we will man because i because i can't wait dude I can't. Listen, like, I'll I take you for tea and crumpets at the Dorchester, mate. No <laughs> well, problem. I'm gluten free and dairy free, <laughs> but we'll figure something out. <laughs> okay. All right, mate. It's good to, to speak to you. See me, you're a legend. Thank you so uh, much, you man. Too, man. This cheers. hypes me the fuck up, dude. Thank you for coming <laughs> on, man. You're, you're welcome, man. Cheers. Bye bye. See, see you, buddy. See you later. Guys, that's, I had no idea who Simi was personally outside of a couple DMs on just how to help stuff. And like, that is so cool to hear, man, because that's the power of the community, man. And it's people helping people and it's people liking what they're a part of. And like, just like any clothing brand, just like people who like Gary V, when you like someone's content, you rock with them and you want to get to know them better and you want to associate with your community. And that's the thing that I love, man. So Dude, that's awesome, man. If you ever come out to Arizona, man, I'll take you golfing or something. So, <laughs> so dude, got to extend a, gotta extend a warm handshake to see me, man. Thanks for, thanks for coming on, man. Joe, where are you such at? a retirement community statement. <laughs> Shut up. If you ever come out to Phoenix. Dude, you know I'm like 147, bro. Oh All I do God. is swing trade stocks these days and golf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 120. You bitch dude. about the length of a crosswalk time. You're like, here I here all I do is drink golf and bitch about liberals and young millennials yeah. wanting to flip in <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I really am, dude. I really feel like I'm like nine years old in my mind, man. These days, I can't keep. Man, up with the more, myself. the more and more I'm like 
just the older I get, the more I, I realize how, how alike I am with like Dwight on the office. Dwight from the, <laughs> for those who don't know, when, just Google. <laughs> you remember when he, when he's like, he's walking in, I forget where they were walking into, but there were like so many people. And he was like, man, we need a new plague. Why are there so many people? We need a new plague. <laughs> this is Joe <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. <laughs> like I think man? this, I literally like... think this all of the time when I walk into Costco and there's like just layers of people everywhere. I'm just like, we need a new plague. God. <laughs> I always kind of thought I was his character. <laughs> <laughs> dude yeah this, this is me man i'm telling you a 31 year old body dude every dude it's funny because joe my like i said dude my dad still lives in cali but he's as republican as he dude he's more republican than trump and he is he is as far red as you can go right and bro every time i get him on the phone he's all like doom and gloom and conspiracy theory. right like, oh yeah World's i'm like coming i'm like end. Bro, I literally have to answer. My dad's like my best friend, dude. He trades. He, dude, he was a trader 20 years ago, way before me. And he kind of introduced me to the markets a little bit outside of like, um, shout out Tim Sykes a million years ago, right? And dude, my dad, like every time I answer the phone, I'm like, dad, first of all, I'm in a good headspace. Don't fuck with my vibration. Bro. Right, yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> like, I don't need to know how the, the big reset is right around the corner. I don't need to know how there's nanites in this COVID vaccine. I don't need to know how... Oh my God. <laughs> I answer the phone every time like, Hey dad, did you see BBXV death? Can yes. I know Janet Young. Yes. Dad. I know Elizabeth <laughs> Warren. I know. <laughs> like I don't need to. <laughs> yes. I know. That's funny. Yes. Dad, the vaccine. Yeah. I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh shit. You're trying man. to kill you, son. That's how oh. they're going to do it. And you know what, man, who knows? Maybe half the world is crazy and they are looking for totalitarian reset. But you know what? At the end of the day, man, trade line to line, focus on the positives of life and you're going to have a much better daily. Experience. I don't know, man. I, I've been thinking for a long time that, you know, I might just be better off in heaven. So if that's how I die, that's how I die. You know what, man? I, you know, I know you'll cause quite a ruckus right down in hell. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, it's like, all right, whatever. We'll leave it be. <laughs> <laughs> That's hysterical. Joe, I actually have a question for you on YouTube. Um, Mr. Infamous, did you remove the TOS script for gappers on YouTube? I can't find it. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't personally. No, I didn't. I, 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 we, don't, you, we don't take down content, so I wouldn't. I yeah, no. I, there. And my thinkorswim is the same thinkorswim. And I mean, I've got think scripts out there probably the last seven years with, you know, the people have downloaded or are still accessing so yeah definitely yeah and it, it's, uh, it's there to, to is it the pre-market gappers one I, I don't know which one they're talking about uh but yeah if you I mean, guys that, um it might be it i don't know if, if any of you guys have it y'all can post it in here or post it in the comments on youtube yeah, for sure, man. And if you guys have any questions, man, definitely, definitely reach out right now. You know, whether you're a member in chat um, or whether you're on YouTube, man, guys, reach, reach out with your questions right now and we'll answer them, man. Definitely. Here you go. Here's and one in Zoom, Tosh. And just kind of podcast style, shoot the shit. What, what'd you say, Joe? Here's a question on the Zoom. What advice do you give to traders who are thinking about quitting their job and trading full time? Oh, do not do that. Do not, do not, do not, do not. Stop sign, red flag, red light, stop your car, do not drive. Do not quit your job until one, you get some real consistency and can pay your bills in trading or at least supplement. And number two, know that you want to do this for the long haul. Many people get a little too excited and before they can crawl, they try to fly. Before they can walk, they try to drive a car. Guys, you will get there. I promise you if you learn the right material and the resource, but, but the timeline is very tricky for some because, and I'll give you an example. There are some people like me who eight years ago took $35,000 out on a credit card and then quit my job to learn trading. And it took longer than I thought because once I quit, 
um, the job, the couple of freelance jobs that I was doing in LA as like a 22 year old background work in the film industry, which is dog shit fucking work and construction. And then literally just studied. I, I didn't realize it would take much longer. Even with a resource like MIC guys, you do not want to quit your job because what that's going to do is you're going to put so much stress on yourself to now pay. You're not going to trade the same as if, Oh, I've got a salary coming in or I've got money coming in or whatever. Maybe you just do part-time work, but you got money that you can count on coming in. You're going to have a different mindset in trading. So until you are a badass, even then maybe don't quit. Cause when you learn the process, it's one to two hours a day. Shit, dude, Vic, Vic is our, Steve Vickers on YouTube right now, guys. If you're paying attention, he's one of our mods. Um, Steve is a cop and he's a damn fucking good trader, man. And Steve, is not quitting his job. He's got a dual source of income now because he's good at trading. And actually, Joe, dude, oh my God, you're the guy to talk about this, bro. You had a total salary at, what was it, Ford or something like that? Joe, talk talk about your journey yeah. right on that. So I, for five years, I worked a full-time job where I worked, you know, 12, 14 hour days. Yeah. And I for the longest time, just this, this all I dreamed about doing was quitting. Now, I, I, I think we all dream about quitting because, you know, everybody has, <clears throat> we all love a good quitting story, right? Kind of gives us all hope that maybe that can be us one day. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, like we all like guy hearing on about Instagram it. Say, I just quit my job and I turned my yeah. business into $4 million a year. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It, I mean, it can turn into something pretty nice. Well, for some people, don't right, get yeah. fooled by the influencers out there. That's what I'm saying. Like, don't get fooled by the one guy out of 10 million that quit his job. You know what I mean? And he, right, he yeah. killed it overnight. Yeah, so for, for seven years, I was in that business. And for the last five years, I, um, I was learning how to trade. I was, and I, I was learning all the wrong processes and everything like that. Give me two seconds here. Hang on. Yeah, bud. Yeah, man. See how this is just bleeding, guys? BVXV, just people losing faith. Now, again, it's too late in the day to want to short right here. And specifically, if you did short right here, you're a chasing bastard. But um, this is just not something to get excited about, right? The meat of the move is kind of gone. The tank already happened, and it really didn't bounce. And this happens every now and then. You don't get the – there's probably a lot of people who missed this that were waiting for a bounce because usually you want to bounce up to a 30, 40, maybe even 50% of the death candle or tank candle, but it didn't even come. So don't beat your own ass if you miss this trade. That's what I wanted to bring that up for. If you miss this, you're like, I'm such a loser. I missed an easy setup. Guys, wait for the bounce. If you don't get the bounce, you're on to the next one. Trading is a bus stop and there's always another bus coming. If you miss a trade, there's one tomorrow. If you miss the one tomorrow, there's one next week. If you win, like guys, if you want to do trading and like this is still kind of advice for the guy that maybe wants to quit their job, is why rush to quit your job when the market's gonna be here for the next 100 years? I can put my life on the fact that the market will be here longer than you will be. Think about that for one second. I gotta rush, I gotta rush in the market. I gotta rush to quit my job. I gotta rush to get in because this is the way to make money. Brother, the market is gonna be here longer than you are on the planet Earth. Unless the Earth explodes from solar flares or climate change or something, man, and takes the market with it because the world's gone, um, or a big old asteroid just gives us the middle finger and goes right through us. Market's going to be here, man. The market's going to be here. And for any major investor, this is just a piece of advice. QQQ and the SPY are about the safest thing you could put your money in, in my opinion, in the world. This is not, recommend, this is not actually financial advice directly, but any money that I make that does not go into some form of an asset, whether it be crypto, real estate, or whatever, goes in the SPY, man. This, I want to own as many shares of this as humanly possible because it doesn't matter if you buy this year, next year, five years from now, the SPY goes up. It always has for the last hundred freaking years. And it's always produced at least like a six to 10% return. And it will in the future because this is the American economy. And anybody that bets against the American economy on the long haul is an idiot. And they've always been proven wrong. So communists. Yeah, communists and socialists, man. That's a whole different story. <laughs> My God. But yeah, all right. So let me finish the quitting thing. All right. So 
of the last five years that I was working for Ford, I spent that time basically learning how to trade and losing money <laughs> during those first few years. Oh boy! And it wasn't it for the last. It wasn't until the last kind of two years of my journey that I started actually finding consistency, and um, the consistency honestly was not largely attributed to day trading. Uh, I think a lot of people that want to quit their day jobs choose the wrong style of trading. But the beauty about MIC is the process is taught here. Don't just apply to um, just day trading. They apply to swing trading. They apply to long-term holds, all kinds of different stuff. It applies to every form of trading. But if you work a full-time job and you work tough hours, you are going to set yourself up for failure if you're planning to day trade. If you don't have the ability to trade from you know 9.30 in the morning Eastern time to 10.30 in the morning Eastern time, you're setting yourself up for a very, very difficult journey. Yeah. You, need to pick, you need to pick a style like swing trading or long-term investing to grow that money over time. And then what you need to do is you need to diversify your funds. Get passive income coming in through, you know, it could be side possible. jobs. It could be projects. It could be rental properties. It could be anything. Monetize a hobby, all kinds of different stuff, right? You need to find a way to get that mailbox money. Once you have that, then you can kind of make a shift out of your current career, right? You don't cut ties off with your consistent income, right? You don't completely cut ties, but what you do is you free up time to allow yourself to trade and create different opportunities for yourself. You don't just up and quit. Two, uh, no, it's almost three well, years. Well, because because Joe, Christ. wouldn't wouldn't you say that like, hey, I really want to quit my job is coming from a perspective of, and I'm not singling you out, man. Whoever this is, I'm I'm just saying for anybody, it's it's kind of like the perspective of desperation. Like, oh yeah, like, you're think, unhappy with where you yeah, are. You're yeah. coming to trading because you want to change your your way of life. You want to like, change. I hate my life. I that. hate my job. I need a change. No, you should go at it. And it's only going to make your trading easier when you come at it with like an abundant kind of approach of like, dude, I, I just, I'm good. Like, like I don't, yep. I don't need this money. I don't really want this. I don't like this job, but coming from his point of desperation is just going to evolve in your trading. And now you're going to trade desperate and you're not, yeah. and, that, and that's never good because you're going to revenge trade. You're going to chase, you know, that that's very dangerous shit. Yeah, and I wouldn't even quit one. You know, Bao's recipe is quit your job after you have two years of savings, right, of your total net. But truly, I mean, and Bao said this many times, he's like, honestly, never quit. You don't need <laughs> to quit, you know. But if you want to quit, that's what I would tell you to have. So, <clears throat> um, I, I mean, that, that, that's what I tell everybody is, is don't, don't quit, but – you know, you're going to have to work your ass off. You're going to work, you're going to work 10, 15, 20, 40, a thousand times harder than the other guy because you already have a career. You've already kind of chosen a path and now you're trying to go against the current stop flowing down river Definitely. and trying to start swimming upstream like a salmon in, you know, mating season. And all the bears are standing there on the side of the bank, just ready to bite your head off. And, and them horny bastards swim fast, man. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, everybody is a salmon swimming upstream in the market. We all are. But, you know, there's smarter salmon and there's dumber salmon. And, you know, there's, there's, the, there's the hardworking sons of bitches that are real stupid. And then there's the hardworking people that are real smart. And you just need to, one, want it bad enough. You need to want this. We'll and if you like don't this, want Joe. this, you ain't going to have it. We'll say it like this, Joe. There's buyers at, on PayPal at 310 or 191. <laughs> exactly. <Which are> you? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Wait, there's wait. buyers at 310 and there's buyers at 190. Joe, my average on PayPal, you're going to die, dude. Hold on. Let me look this up. It's going to be like what? 308? I'm just kidding. 192.46. Nice. <laughs> my average is sitting right around 195 and I've just kind of been chilling on it. I haven't really added to the position because I've kind of already got my size. So I'm just kind of letting it be. Oh, I don't have, I don't have my size yet. I, I spread myself out on many tickers on dips, but, but that's the yeah. point guys is like, 
are you a horny sea bass <laughs> or, are you, or, or are you a patient dude? Because, yeah. you know, just guys, just like Warren Buffett said, man, and this applies to basically anything is, you know, if you can't control your emotions, how the hell are you going to control money or trading? You have yeah. to, dude, the market gives people, you know, the, it, money flows from the impatient to the patient and not even meaning like, oh, I'm going to wait for a drastic dip on a good company. Even, hey, I'm going to wait for my pop on that death candle or I'm going to wait to quit my job when I have a lot of money saved up and then I can float for fucking three years and even start my own business and do something I love. And, and let me tell you another thing is we're in a day and age where there's so much accessibility online to create any business of any form that you want, whether it's cooking, fitness, anything, creating a personal brand, that if you did quit your job tomorrow that you absolutely hated going to, but you have total autonomy over your life now, you have money, you, you're you really good economically, you know, financially you're set, and you can coast for two years, while you're learning trading, maybe throw on weekends to learn and building a personal brand also and sell a digital product. Like, dude, if, you, if you're a fitness junkie like fucking Davron, one of our members, and he wants to be in the gym three hours of the day, teach fitness classes while you learn trading because you have a backup. That's when you can quit your job that you fucking despise. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you like, got to have, you gotta have su sufficient passive income. Yeah, man. For, if, me, even if, yeah. for me, I had enough savings to, like, I had my account that netted me income. And I eventually was able to lower my outgoing to a point where I could quit my job. I was making enough from my accounts um, to cover my monthly goals. And then I had savings off to the side as well. Now, if I started losing money, right, when you go through drawdown periods, that's when you start hitting on the savings. But basically what I had was I had the um, – the capital available to change my career. Okay. I don't consider myself my, I don't consider my sole career as a stock trader. I don't, when people ask me, you know, what do you do for a living? I don't tell them I trade stocks. Dude, I never do. You know what I, I don't say? say I'm an investor of any form, any form. If I can flip a dollar in any genre, I will. Dude, I flipped Pokemon cards last month and made a decent profit. Like I will, I'm an investor at heart. Yep. And what that so people that are like i freaking hate where i'm at i hate what i'm doing okay take your savings and use that to monetize something else and like for me i went and got a real estate license and i started building a real estate business and as i started building that business i started meeting people and now now i've invested in two different two different businesses that are going to net me income down the road. And uh -huh. then I have real estate and then we have rental properties. Um, we have, my wife has a job still, which has the benefits and everything awesome. that covers that stuff. And you know, it, 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 it's a team effort here. I, if I didn't have my wife, you know, I'd probably be a lot richer, but um, <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Probably. But, <laughs> Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, but um, it, you know, it, it, it's a team journey. So you can't, Definitely. you can't just crap out on one or the other and, and you can't let one person carry the weight and don't be afraid to ask for help. You know, like that, that is the worst thing you can do is, is never admit that you're wrong or anything like that. So another question is I'm an out of work veteran. Well, that's a bummer, but Thank you for your service. I don't have a lot of risk, but I do have some money to play with. Just don't want to risk at all. How much do I need to get started? I would say you need, I mean, you're, he, you're, you're commenting on the Zoom, so you, you're in here from somewhere. But if you are a member of MIC, all you need is enough for the annual membership. That's it. You don't need to open an account right now. You just need enough for the annual membership and start learning using a paper account. Definitely. That's it. You don't, need a, you don't need a broker account. You don't need any of that. You don't need to start placing trades. You don't need to be involved in the market. You don't need any of that. You don't need no skin in the game. Get in for the education, learn, and that's it. Well, and Joe, let me, let me add to that because I love what you just said there. And like, guys, like the number one thing at MIC that we try to do as best we can literally is 
put on an ethical sense, a transparent sense. And like, we're not here to do a lot of marketing that a bunch of furus doing luring people who don't want to trade. Guys, this is not the easiest career in the world. It's not easy. You risk money for a living. There's a lot to learn. Um, there's a lot of information that we make very simple to learn and simple to understand. But this is not just a hobby where you pick up and you go, oh, okay, I'm going to day trade on, you know, a couple of days. This is a language. So if you really want to learn it, just know that you're not entering into something where idiots make money or, well, unless they're super lucky, but that never happened. It's, it's some zero game for idiots in the long run that never want to learn, right? Because they win and they give it back. But this is a language you're learning. Like you don't go into real estate and just flip a house just because you want to flip a house. You learn from someone like Joe, who's like, been doing this or understands that you go, bro, like, what am I looking for in the real estate game that it will allow me to profit from flipping a house? Not some random guy that goes, man, I'm going to flip a house. I'll flip the first one I see. You, you may lose your ass. So you, you, this is an industry where you got to actually have a work ethic and discipline, but yeah, the rewards are astronomical if you do it correctly, but we're not here to sugarcoat and say any way that Jones tomorrow is going to be a millionaire the next day. We don't do that type of bullshit marking. That's a lie. That's a lie. You know? So. I agree fully. We try, we try to give you the straight dope, man. Don't quit your job. This takes time to learn. And then if you get to a point where one, you actually get really good at trading, which if you're a part of MIC, you have a very good chance. Number two, you realize trading's actually for you because there's a lot of adrenaline that comes with this game. There's a lot of, um, um, sometimes stress, you know, when, especially when you're learning or you're, or you broke your process one day, which sometimes we, I mean, Bao's been trading for 20 years and has a stressful day. Like it, like it happens, but I totally have a stressful day or a stressful position or whatever it is. Um, this is not for the faint of heart, you know, like it spits faint of heart people out every day. So I want you guys to come in with realistic expectations. There's nobody in my opinion or no community rather that is gonna teach you better about day trading or investing than MIC. And I, and I put my life on that. We, in my eyes, are the best community out there, thank you, JTrades, to teach you guys how to trade in, in a, you know, an atmosphere that's, gonna, that's very much going to positively impact your trading career. But that, doesn't, that still doesn't mean that trading's for every single soul out there. And, 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 and I think we do it the best. So, you know, that's about as transparent as I can be in that, man. But, um, you know, it's like, it's like, I, I, like I always say, you know, I was talking about for the last two weeks, Dan Bilzerian's book. He's like, eventually he actually wanted to get out of poker because it was so fucking stressful. And he made a hundred million through poker plus maybe 200. But the point is, it's like, eventually maybe something you grow out of or something's just never for you, right? Like it's rare. It's very rare. But with so many members that join, obviously you get one person that is like, oh, Tosh, you know what? I, I please like, I got to cancel is for the next month. Please don't auto renew me because I, I just realized like trading's not for me. Like I'm shaking having $5 on the line. And I'm like, you know what, brother? I totally understand trading and risking money is literally not for every single person out there, man. It's just, it's not. But for the people that are hungry, that know, you know, what trading entails and know what the stock market is for every dollar loss is a dollar gain and vice versa. For those people who are so hungry to learn this style of professional gambling, I'd say where you really can become the house, but it still is a form of gambling. Um, they run with it, man. And I, I see a bunch of familiar faces, Asborn, Travers, Angel, uh, you know, that have been doing it for a year plus or two years or three years and see me six years, but new to MIC or um, whoever it is, man, you know, but you got to risk it for the brisket. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That'll catch Joe's attention right there. You had me a brisket. I, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <clears throat> so break um, down, uh, this member asked, break down the pros and cons of day trading versus swing trading. Oh, the pros and cons? All right, Joe, let me start. Because because I know we both do this, but but the number one thing that is the pro, in my opinion, is swing trading. And I'll, I'll actually kind of more say long-term investing is the most stress-free way of m making money I've ever done in my life. Buying a sauna on a dip, buying PayPal on a dip, and looking in a few months. There, it, at least for my comfort zone, and especially on a position like the SPY where you can throw the house and pretty much be secure because in the future it's almost guaranteed returns, it, it's, it's really stress-free, but it's slower 
a lot of the time. So while you can do any job in the world, have any amount of kids, have any amount of wives, some of you Mormons out there or, or people that, you know, Amish, whatever, but you, you could be away from screens all day and still have a career in the markets. That's the benefit of swing trading. I can be completely hands off and still print money if you know what you're doing but it's slower and it's more on a long-term trajectory in my opinion. The guys that race in and throw full size at uh, PayPal it, on you know, this dip, just because it's on a dip, but they're full size leverage the house, doesn't mean that it doesn't go from 190 to 130. But if you're going in slow on every major dip on really good companies, knowing that it'll probably maybe at lowest go to 130 and then back in 10 years, probably back to 300, that, that's a different way to play. So like you still got to know how to swing trade, you know what I mean? Or scoop dips or going with starters and position size correctly. But with day trading, you got to be on it like a hawk. You got to be on it like a hawk. It's much quicker money, but there's st more stress in my opinion. You have to be hands-on and you have to wake up every day and really learn a process and do it and get locates and do this. And how are the pivot line? There's, there's a real language to learn. So again, it's like there's more returns in day trading, but there's a lot more to it in my opinion. That's the best I could say. Joe, what do I, I would love to hear what you, what you have to say, buddy. Uh, the con of day trading would be you can lose your money 10 times as fast as you can yep. swing yep. trading. <laughs> dude, dude um, that's like the billboard, right? Yes, so, Yeah, yeah, it... <clears throat> I personally think the best day traders are people that did not <clears throat> have somewhere that they had to be in a day, right? So many of the best day traders are, were young at one point, you know, and <clears throat> they had over 25,000 or they were, um, they had a way to get there or they just started trading at the right time and they are a complete exception to the rule. But if that is not you and you're somebody that, you know, you have a few thousand dollars, then you need to, I would just, I tell everybody you need to do swing trading. I, th options, I personally right? think this, I think this, yeah, swing trading through stock or options. I think that the success rate, if people would start swing trading first, the number of successful traders would go through the roof compared to where it's currently at. I agree, Joe, because everybody's so obsessed with that get rich quick, but people oh, yeah. don't realize swing trading, you'll build good habits. And then over Completely. time, you'll be patient over time through your swing trades. You'll go, Oh, that would have been a good day trade. Oh, that would have been a good day trade. Oh, exactly. that would have been a good day trade. Oh, that would have been good. And then all of a sudden you start building this mental catalog, this mental bank account of day trading knowledge through spending time at the screens for your swing trades and then going back and reviewing and so on and so forth that you will eventually get to the point where you're going to go, huh? Yeah. I see it now. I see it. Well, and, and it's, and it's yeah. like, and it's like Joe, like on like day trading versus swing trading, d there's really no indicators outside of BWAP, this blue line that really, in my opinion, help you day trading, but there are indicators like, I actually have one. I have RSI for the daily charts. Dude, if I'm swing trading, I want to, like, there's actually indicators that can really help you with swing trading. I know we kind of like. I have called out live trades based on just RSI for large dude. caps and bottom tick the living crap out of them. Joe, uh, I, dude, I've been doing this for eight years, bro. <laughs> Why do you think I'm long PayPal? Look at this yep. RSI massive fucking Look dip at SQ. on the daily. SQ is the same thing. Bro, 100%. And it's like when you're new and like we just said, guys, you're a family man. you got a job which you have to report. Maybe you're the CEO of a big company, but you want to make some extra scratch on the side, whatever, but you have no time. The big cap swing trading, I love it, man. It builds good habits. You wait for certain indicators, do your thing. If that's how you go about it, there's more tools to help you. And it's And dude, when you get the right things, it's pretty hands off, man. And then eventually when you build an account large enough, like I would say personally, a good number is 35,000. Like if you have, you know, 35 grand in your pocket, 
that is what you need in order to be able to like set yourself up for success when it comes to day trading. So if you have a small amount of money, I would say you need to grow it to 35,000 through trading. Yep. And then you graduate to a day trader. Now, some people, <coughs> you're going to come into this and you're going to go, nope, I'm going to go directly to day trading. I've got 35 grand and they start day trading. They follow the MAC process and they make it. And that's great. Yeah, totally. But for those of you that do not have 35,000, the process I'm telling you to do is start swing trading first, build to 35, doing it all through MIC, and then you go that way. Now, well, if you have 35 grand, then use the MIC process, follow Alex's watch lists, start on paper first, learn how to trade first, learn how to place the orders, how things move, yeah. et cetera, and then go to live money. But I, in my opinion, you need at least 35,000 to set yourself up for success because well, the reason why we say 25 grand guys, day trade. The reason why Joe said 35 is because if you're at 25,000, you're just making the margins for PDT and that's yeah. going to have you trading like a puss. You and if you go under, if you have 30, yeah. if you have 30, really you only have five grand worth of equity. Yeah, right? literally. It's like you have five I mean, account. You make 10 bad trades and that's gone. You're gone. And now you're under PDT. Now you yeah. just switch brokers to even yep. play the game. And you don't have the good borrows anymore. You don't Definitely. have anything that you can do. It, it all starts stacking against you. Correct. So 35 for me is, is like that key number. Um, I agree. That's the balance I like because it gives me 10 grand of padding between that number and PDT. I you agree. Know? And like if I lose 10 grand, like something's very wrong. <laughs> like <laughs> just like, oh, goodness and, and like and in like, september in september i had a big drawdown and i was like oh god what happened dude i like that was my only red month every september. now and then they happen man i'll tell you and yeah and it's like joe like here's another thing is like how much comfort zone do you have right like i was never a major size player in small caps there was a small brief period where i tried it but I realized it wasn't my comfort zone, but on long-term swings for the last eight years, I don't know what clicks in my brain, but dude, I will throw the house into a long-term swing in a good company. I mean, like, dude, oh, yeah. like, there's times where Absolutely. I've literally thrown, dude, like 30% of my entire net worth into a position, but I can't, I can't do that in day trading, man. I like my slow and steady, make your money every single day through process. Alex is really good at the small cap side throwing the house. You know what I mean? So you have to find your... Like, what are you comfortable with, man? So it's like, you're only going to find out by doing. Absolutely. And yeah. we all want to be like Alex, right? We all strive to be that. Alex is an exception to the rule. He had a mentor like Val in the beginning, in his developmental phases that taught him a mindset that literally made him a monster. Right. And he did. And, and, and you guys have to think the reason why it was such a perfect, like kind of trifecta situation, he was young with no responsibilities. He yep. didn't have kids in a family and he had access to about at fucking 23 years old. And what he had no outgoing to become. Money. He had no debt except for a girlfriend. And he dumped her. <laughs> exactly, dude, uh, it, dude, I'm telling you, man, when you have responsibilities later in age, you play safer. When you like, I'm telling you, man, even Roland's a big player these days. Like maybe Roland doesn't have like super responsibility. So he's able to, so I don't know. I'm just, I'm not singling out of it. I'm just saying that there really is sometimes a perfect trifecta of where your life is and what trajectory and what year you are. Like, dude, the, typically speaking, the older generation trader, someone who starts in his fifties is always just going to be a lot more conservative and not necessarily become an Alex, become good but never have a $700,000 P&L just because, dude, he's, he's never going to throw that type of size that would generate that kind. <laughs> oh, shit. Dude, yeah. Roland, Roland really is an a, a outlier to the rule, man. <laughs> oh, shit. And a lot of the success stories that you guys see out there, these are people that had no responsibilities. Correct. No responsibilities starting out. So those of you that have these responsibilities that are trying to – again, swim upstream against the current in salmon mating season, trying to bump elbows with all the other salmon. Like it is going to be hard. Very, 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 very hard. And 
if you take the approach of the, you know, the low and slow, like any good barbecue, you'll be fine. Like if you just sit back and say, all right, I don't need this today, but I need this every day. Joe, I've got, I need a, to do this I've got every day. I've got a perfect example for anybody listening. It doesn't matter what sector it is. It's the same mentality. I have a 26 year old friend where he makes $400,000 a month. Guess what he does? 100% of his USD, he converts to Bitcoin. 100%. 100 fucking percent of his money he keeps no fiat because he thinks fiat dies in five years. Now, I'm not here to say it does or it doesn't. I don't know. But because he's 26, no family, no kids, no girlfriend, guess what he's able to do? Businesses that generate him a lot of money. If Bitcoin dies tomorrow and goes to fucking zero, he is good and he's young. He can bounce back but he makes $400,000 a year upwards of four, uh, sorry, $400,000 a month, upwards of $4 million a year converts every last dollar that he doesn't have to pay taxes to to Bitcoin. I think he's out of his mind, but guess what? He's young and that's what we're talking about. So he throws the house. If, if you he think about 50, this, like he could not do that. Oh no. If you think about this and you think about like the big success stories that have kind of come out of small cap day trading, the two biggest ones are, Alex and Tim Gratani. Both yeah, of those yeah, people those the did not have, yes. they did not have more than 25 grand in their accounts in the beginning. So out of thousands and thousands and thousands of people that have came into this, the two people that have done it are Tim Gratani and Alex. And guys, we're talking astronomical gains, like 4 yeah. million in a year, like Alex is going to make, you know, this year, like that kind. No, not Steven Ducks. No. Ducks had more than 25 grand. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Yep. Kid. Yeah. Ducks had more than 25 grand. He was able to trade over PDT. Tim Sykes grew up in a different generation. Tim Sykes grew up in the dot com bubble, got good at longing dot com hype and gained money off of that. Okay. There's really only two people that have done the, you know, two, four, five, 10 grand and turned it into. A fortune. Yeah, Sykes was before the PDT rule. Well, and, and, and like Joe, like I think the most important thing to kind of like book and why we brought that up is guys, you don't have to be Alex to do this. If you can make $200 a day, you get to supplement your income and live a life that you love. Yeah. Like, like that's what Absolutely. we're talking, we're talking yeah. about. Like, fuck the $700,000 P&Ls. You guys don't need those. Stop getting lured in by all of these people on Twitter. They're like, man, I swung $200,000 today. I was down 300 and now I'm up 400. Yay. I'm going to like beat on my chest. Okay, dipshit. That's good for you. But what about 10,000 other people that can't do that? And they just want a fucking good dinner at night, man. Like, because they're eating top ramen every night. Like the college yep. kid just wants a nice dinner every night. That's very easily achievable once you learn process. And then hopefully you do get to the point where you can buy houses and cars and Rolexes and Richard Mills and stuff. Great. But at first, it's about being realistic of like, look, Alex is Alex, but you be you. You be the best version of you. Yep. Like, dude, just because you make $1,000 a week because you learn day trading, bro, $1,000 a week that you didn't have before, it's going to change your life. It's going Absolutely. to change your life. It's going to pay off your cars. It's going to pay off your credit student card debts. Loans, it's going to pay off like, your house, student loans. It's going to pay off that fucking buckle credit card that you've had for 20 years because you liked the way that archaic shit looked. And now we know Joe wears buckle. <laughs> oh, dude, I don't wear buckle. But I knew people <laughs> like that in college that they had like buckle credit cards and they would max them out like four grand. Because this crazy. was when like if you were a college student, you could get an introductory credit card. And then if you had mom and dad co-sign with you, you'd get, you'd get a fat credit line. Dude, and mine was Macy's, max man. It out. Mine was Macy's, bro. When I was 17 and they gave me that $200 limit, I felt like, like- Oh, you're on cloud I felt nine. like Elon Musk. Yeah. Yeah, like I can buy a I bottle of cologne. I can buy? <laughs> I can buy a bottle of cologne and I, pay I it back buy, over like, the next this, six this months. Matthew McConaughey and <laughs> cologne and then go turn off all the girls because it smells like shit? <laughs> <laughs> Hell There's nothing yes. I love Sign more than up, paying, yeah, paying $100 for a bottle of Dior and then 
spend the next six months trying to pay it off on my Taco Bell fucking salary. <laughs> on your freaking paper route. <laughs> oh, yeah, right? Yes. Oh, God. Talk about a wet dream. Dude, dude, take me back to 1999. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, man. This is but yeah, that, so that, that's what I mean about the swing trading versus day trading is, is that, you know, if you, if you don't have more than 25 grand, you need to look to swing trade immediately. Or Don't options be, trade. It's kind of the same thing, but yes, yeah, swing trade. Of some yeah, form. yeah. Swing trading using stock or options. So Correct. I, I just, I don't think that, I, I mean, I've just seen the data. I've seen the data. D Joe, that, we had a, Joe, we had a member and I, I never, dude, I, I mentioned this so many times because I still like, I'm so proud of this fucking kid. Dude, he turned $1,300 into 70,000 learning your option stuff. What the fuck? Where's my That's fucking insane. percentage? That's insane. I want my cut. Dude, where's my Venmo, son? Yeah, where's my cut? I bet I'll he text you. I, I accept <laughs> Apple Pay. I got all forms, all forms, all forms of payment. Uh, there, there's our new uh, passive income source. When you turn thirteen hundred yeah. into seventy thousand, now you gotta cut us two percent. <laughs> Fuck that! I want thirty percent. Oh, that's just too greedy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, twenty. <laughs> <laughs> A finder's fee is ten percent. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Joe's coming in with yeah. Let me eye gouge you like Janet Yellen in the Fed. Right? Yeah. And Dems and Cali. <laughs> Oh my God, bro. Ooh, that's funny. Well, shit, man. I actually got to get on the road because uh, my dog's got a shit. But uh, dude, this was this was the funnest webinar, man. I forgot, Joe, how fun these are, man. We used to do these like podcast style for real. No, man. But can you guys, link the videos for the options? Yeah, dude. Yeah, hell yeah. We got a whole options boot camp. Uh, oh, link, uh, Joe, if you have them real quick. If not, guys, if you're an MIC member, um, uh, just go in the video library and you'll be able to find that. But um, yeah, man. We, There's a whole we, section in the video library yep. called Options Boot Camp. Yeah, we have everything for you guys. Just use the search feature, uh, Options Boot Camp, or the drop-down menu for sure. Where is it? Where's my Slack? Oh, oh did we interview the guy that turned 1300 well, into Well, he wanted, he wanted to kind of not remain completely anonymous, but there's no video on it. He was just, it was more so to me, Alex and Bow and DMs. He was like, I'm kind of shy. I'm a young kid. Uh, and, yep. and I think, I think he posted like a charge. It was a while back, but we didn't make it too big of a deal just because he was kind of embarrassed. He was actually shocked, embarrassed, excited all at once. But it was like, we were like, holy shit. <laughs> like we knew, we knew the potential, but damn. <laughs> right. Dude, guys, that's the power of options. I've been saying that since, you know, since I started trading options is it gives you the ability to take, you know, a small account and you're trading something that is leveraged. And so therefore it, I mean, in my opinion, it's, it's, it's using margin without using margin, if that makes sense. Yeah. And there's just no excuse guys like, Oh, I can't learn trading. Cause I have only 1500 in my name. It's like, uh, right. sorry, we, we, we proved that wrong actually. Yep. Yes, but, you can. Yeah. So for those of you that are like, uh, somebody says, you know, I only need $500 to start. Absolutely. But should you start day trading with 500? No. Nope. nope. Negative ghost rider. Oh, yeah, uh -uh. totally. Swing trade, stock or options. And guys, Buy it's, that dip. It's just, about, <laughs> it's just about education in the beginning, guys. Whatever you end up choosing, if you feel like you have to rush in with options because you only have a little bit of money, it starts with getting a membership. Because guys, this is a free webinar. Like seriously, think about how many things we talked about today. Maybe you learned, I hope you did. This is just a free webinar. I mean, imagine being being a paid member where you get access to the video library and you get access to so many different things. And, and like Joe was talking about earlier, I brought this up in passive, but it's like, dude, the average millionaire has seven streams of income. So don't quit your job and just bank the house that you're going to be a trader tomorrow. Like this all takes time. This all takes time. Like, you know what I mean? And it's like, it's just part of the process, man. It's part of the life process, part of the trading process, but you're going to get a good education at MIC. That's guaranteed. Will you be the next Alex? That's never guaranteed. Very few become the next Alex, but you can become the best version of yourself that's going to make either a full-time or a supplementary living at MIC, in which case, just like, just like Simi said, or Simone, you know, he's only paper trading right now after six years, but he knows he's learning the right material and he's going to get there. And with determination and work ethic, he will, man, he, he will. Cause we teach the right shit. 
So if you guys want to sign up, just hit my line, 213-458-5997, doing a big discount on Lifetime right now for the holidays only. Uh, but if you're interested in annual and um, coming in on, on that regard as well, I'll hook you up. We'll, we'll figure out what we can do with case-to-case -case basis. But um, yeah, man, hopefully you got a little out of this. And Joe, dude, this was so fun, man. Thanks for coming on, man. Seriously. Yeah, absolutely, man. Dude, give the family my best and uh, do the damn thing for the holidays, man. And we'll reconvene soon, buddy. Later, man. See you, Joe. See you, guys. Super fun, man.